Hello folks, uh, we're back uh, in Brampton. It's actually December now. I've been slacking on my videos. Uh, so I thought I'd give an update to my Essenville Road Cut, Grease Lake Road Cut, and uh, Desmont Mine trip. I got some rocks here to show you. I got some interesting ones from uh, Grace Lake. I wasn't sure. I didn't think I got any uh, any tremolite, but maybe. So maybe somebody out there could tell me if on these rocks, like these are mostly smoky quartz. Let me get focused here. But is that tremolite or is that maybe? Calcite. I also see it within the smoky quartz. You can sort of see. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. Like it's almost like rutile in the smoky quartz. I almost want to polish that side up right there and just see how this is. Uh, you can see how they're all kind of lined up in different angles there. You see that piece. So uh, I got a huge one here. Um, so you can see that stuff right there. It's not colorful at all, it's kind of just grayish. Uh, there's a lot of, it's actually really heavy. Uh, there's some, I guess that's probably smoky quartz there. And some mica on top. This one isn't all that fancy, but some of these smaller ones, you could also see it in there. There's a nice big chunk of it, whatever it is, maybe I can get a little closer here. Zoom in back there. Come on, thing. There we go. I don't know. Not sure what that is. A couple of smaller pieces too. Uh, let's see. This one has some on it too. Kind of goes in different directions. It's all smoky quartz on the back, really dark. Let's see here. A bigger chunk. Very interesting looking rocks anyway, whatever they are. It'd be interesting. I'm going to try to polish one of those up for sure. Dark smoky quartz. Another one there. Uh, not so much with the uh, tremolite, but... Yeah, you can really tell on this one though, especially on this side. Maybe not so much in this light. Like these things kind of, maybe if I move it over here to this light. Yeah, see how they shine? It's very interesting. Anyway, moving on before I lose uh, all my storage here. Uh, well, after that we went to Desmont. And I did find uh, a bunch of pyrite. So there's a nice big chunk. Let's see if I get a good picture of that. It's very reddish, about the size, almost the size of a quarter. Very beautiful. I've never seen too many that big there like that. But then I came across these guys. I think these are pure pyrite. So when I scratch off a little bit, you can see the shiny gold color there. But anywhere where I hit the edges on this thing, they turn, uh, it's actually like gold color underneath. Where is it here? This one you can really tell on one side. Uh, there it is. So they're scratched off there. And otherwise it's got like this reddish coating. But yeah, I think this might be just all pyrite, just big chunks. It's very heavy. Let's see why it's called fool's gold. So, uh... Also have a nice piece here with some pyrite. Remember this is all from Desmont Mine. This one also has a nice big chunk of diopside there. And what I think is probably calcite, that white stuff, but diopside. Big focus here. It's pretty nice. Uh, I really wanted to find some molybdenite when I went to I didn't think I did when I was there, but look at that. You can see right in the middle there, it's shiny metallic color. Uh, there's a couple pieces on here somewhere. Um, I got another rock here though with some molybdenite on it. They're not big chunks at all, but there's some on the top there. Definitely not a big chunk. Uh, 
glass diopside there. I did see more on this before, but it's hiding from me, but that's all right. Moving on, <clears throat> we have uh, just a really chunky uh, calcite and some diopside. Probably got some more pyrite on there. Oh yeah, this one's got, no, I remember this one. This one's got some nice little chunks of pyrite on it. Come on. There we go. It's kind of cool shape to them. And let's see here. So this uh, this one's got some nice kind of green. It's almost like a, it's almost fruity colors on this. The uh, calcite. Some of it's gotten beat up. So if I get it wet, it kind of looks even nicer. Uh, this chunk here is a bunch of mica <clears throat> and some pyrite there as well. You can sort of see in the middle. I think I showed this one during the video. Uh, got some uh, more chunky diopside. You can sort of see there. Not as not so nice. I think it broke there. Probably before I had it though. This kind of thing you can find at Desmont. Same with these guys over here. More. Uh, more orange calcite than that. Uh, this one's really kind of nice, bright colors. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we got a nice bright green one here with some orange cal or white calcite on it. This one I could probably find other things on it too. Really, the light doesn't do it justice here. Let's see if I can move it over. You can kind of get more idea of how nice it is actually anyway uh, so I also went to Essenville Road Cut <clears throat> and we found a bunch of floral Richterite uh, I just tried to find some small pieces uh, let me see if I can focus it's gonna want to focus on the background there it's kind of small uh, let's see if I can find a I'll just zoom in on the bunch here. And uh, I actually found a couple that were really kind of clear. Let's see if I can... I don't know if it sort of sh will show at all. But anyway, once I clean those up, they'll look a lot nicer. There is some appetite there. That came from Titanite Hill. Uh, I'll show that in another video. Um, also, lots of mica at Essenville Road Cut. I didn't really find anything really nice. This one's sort of a half of a hexagon. They have really nice mica there. You can find a good chunk. Here's a chunk of floral Richterade and calcite, I believe, or limestone or something. I'm not really sure. It's, I assume it's calcite, actually. It's kind of a cool piece. Uh, there was also, oh, this is a nice kind of a cool piece of calcite that came from, uh, Desmont Mine. It's more green. I don't know if maybe it's got diopside locked inside. Like, so you can see that little piece that's broken off of there. But it's, uh, definitely a cool color. Um, I guess... I think that's it from there. I do have a question. I'm gonna bring this rock up in my next video from Titanite Hill. I found this rock on the way back from Titanite Hill on the path. There is a little small path that sort of shot off into some rocks. And uh, I'll show I'll show that video soon. But maybe somebody could tell me what the heck this is. See how blue it is? It almost looks like and like I say, I don't, I've never had a piece of tremolite, so I'm not sure. It almost looks like tremolite. When I could compare it to this other guy here that I think that might also be tremolite. Let's see if I can situate them here. They kind of have the same, I don't know if I can get this or not, the same kind of pattern to them where they're, you know, it's not like a crystal form. It's like a striated kind of kind of thing. But anyway, this is blue though. And you see it on the end here too. So I don't know if anybody has an idea what that is. Maybe they can fill me in. 
And I just had one other update. There was the rock here that came from Schickler's. And I said I found a piece of uh, titanite on it, so I thought I'd show you. There it is there. Isn't that beautiful? So if you're ever at Schickler's, you might find some titanite if you keep your eyes out. And this was mixed in with some calcite and horn blend there. It's pretty cool. Anyway. I guess that's it for now. If anybody has anything to say, I'd be glad to hear your comments. And I'll uh, update you soon with the uh, Titanite Hill video. Bye now.